parts in Summa Theologica. Part 1 deals with primarily with God and comprises discussion of concern of the existence and nature of God, the creation, the work of creation, and the divine government. Part 2 deals with the purpose of man, the habits, and the types of laws that are involved. And Part 3 involves with Christ and the concern of the incarnation, the sacraments, and the resurrection. Overall, between the three parts, I learned that the theological summary seeks to describe the relationship between God and man. I made a connection with the last reading on Matthew to this because all things are made possible through Christ and is a very religious topic. I found it interesting how Aquinas, throughout the story, believed that every human being, regardless of their belief, shares in humanity through reason. It makes me believe that we have purpose, 